Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lango and today we are going to learn how to make a fire detector alarm using just Arduino. We are going to be using these two little guys, this one which is the buzzer and this one which is the flame sensor. They look just like this. The buzzer, what it does is it makes sound and the flame sensor, what it does is it just detects any any flame any presence of flame and it gives us the value so the way we are going to do that is we are going to try to, to code this flame sensor this one so that it gives a command to this buzzer to make a sound which will be like an alarm or notification in case any flame is detected this system can be very useful in our homes because it can be used to prevent fire fire breakdowns in our homes so let's get into our code if you go back to our code the first thing we are going to do uh, is to just you know learn how we hooked up this circuit the way we did is this flame sensor as you see on the diagram is connected it's it's vcc is connected to the vcc on five volts on the arduino and the ground to the ground and the analog pin is connected to a zero on the arduino next the buzzer which is this one if you don't see it well i can show it like here it's vcc pin is connected to the 5 volt and of course the ground to the ground and so is the pin for the digital pin is connected to digital pin 7 on the arduino so if we go back to our code now the first thing we are going to do is to declare this flame sensor we're going to say int then call it flame it'll be in the pin a0 onto the arduino then i'm going to go and say int now i'm going to name this buzzer i'm going to call it buzzer and i'm going to put it in d7 on the arduino then down here we need to specify that this is an output device because it gives sound and the sound is an output and the flame sensor is an input because it's a sensor it's not an actuator so the way we do that is we use the car uh, we use the function which is pin mode just like that then i'm gonna go and say flame i'm gonna specify that it's an input go down and say pin mode pin mode again and say that now the buzzer which is the one we declared above is now an output because it gives sound and sounds are output then we might want to you know see the values from this sensor through the serial monitor that's why we need to declare the serial i mean to start the serial monitor by saying serial that begin then we're gonna go ahead and add something that is very important and that thing is the baud rate or the speed which is 9600 don't forget the semicolon so we might want another value another variable that is going to hold the the, the readings from the sensor let's call it int val because it's a, it's a digital then if we go down here we're gonna say if you go down here, we're going to say that this value right here, this one, is going to read the sensor. I'm going to say var equal to. Now, because our flame sensor is connected to the analog pin on the Arduino, we need to read it as an analog value. So I'm going to say analog read, just like that. Analog read. Just like that then we're gonna read the flame which is our sensor now we need to judge and see if the value is high but before we do that let's try to display the value of the readings of the sensor into the serial monitor and see what kind of condition we need to make uh, if the fire is detected so that we can turn on the buzzer as the alarm the way we do that we need to display this val this val or variable a value into the serial monitor to see how this sensor is behaving i'm going to say serial that print print line to give it on a space then i'm going to say read val 
then to not have you know things uh, very very quickly we're gonna add a little delay delay just like that then we're gonna delay a half second which is uh, just like that so then let's go and hit upload hopefully if everything is working correctly we're gonna see the readings of the sensor into our serial monitor now it's uploading the sketch so boom done uploading now what I need to do is to come here onto this little search looking button then click it you can see that we have some values from this sensor now these values can change as soon as we add fire let me light up a much then try to put it close you can see that the values are reducing as soon as i put the fire so close to the sensor if i go back you can see that it's rising up now you can see that in the presence of fire the value of the sensor is close to 900 and below so that's what we are going to use so we're going to say that if if var is uh, less than or equal let's say 900 then there will be presence of fire right so what we are going to do is to turn this buzzer on we're going to turn it on just like we did you know, on the lesson with lead we're going to say digital right just like that put on the buzzer then put it high we don't have to delay a thing so i'm going to say else this is in case now nothing is detected we don't need our buzzer to keep disturbing us making you know useless sound that's why we're going to put the buzzer low low so now let's let's upload again and test if this is working as planned remember the aim of this project is to make this little sketch this little project to give us a notification in case a sound notification in case the fire is detected so i'm gonna go and hit upload hopefully it'll work then get my march ready now it's uploaded successfully i need to light my match like this then put it close you can see that as soon as i put the fire so close the buzzer goes oh maybe there's a thing that is missing let's go back and check you can see the readings now if we turn on the fire You can see that as soon as we put the fire on near the sensor uh, the buzzer starts ringing so now uh, this is the fire detector ladies and gentlemen now if you like this video please comment like and subscribe for more videos like this so now until next time peace